I've hijacked Tom's YouTube channel to take a quick look at some Vietnam era items that were just sent to us. Let's take a look. We mainly focus on World War II stuff here at Legacy Collectibles. We get all types of collectibles every day though. So I wanted to take a minute to go through a box full of items here that was just recently sent to me from a Vietnam veteran. Uh, I wasn't alive during Vietnam, but my understanding is the Vietnam vets didn't get such a warm welcome, and it's not as glorified as the, the World War II uh, veterans and the stuff they brought back. And while they're both important, I just wanted to take some time to give Vietnam veterans some love. Thank you for your service. And let's take a look at some of this stuff. So a lot of uh, these berets this one is for the Special Forces. This one also seems to be Special Forces, but that's a different type of unit. Now, I, this is a, a hot take. I'm just, this is, I'm looking at this stuff for the first time here with you. So this looks like another example of the same thing. Not as good condition. Maybe, maybe the, the, the guys would swap these because these, might not be American. So maybe these are things that were traded or collected. Uh, they are dated from the 60s on the interior. Here's another. Some gives you the rank and the patch, and then they're all blank on the top here. So nice full construction, good condition. Here's a Special Forces uh, name tag. I'm going to cover the name because I don't think we want to broadcast that, but this looks like a blank name tag of some sort or anniversary card. We have a uniform here. The important stuff is the rank. Now I don't, I don't know my ranks off the top of the head, but off the top of my head, but in the army I believe that's a sergeant, sergeant. and Randy will edit that out if I'm wrong. <laughs> here we are again with the rank, the unit. He's an army ranger in the airborne. Excellent condition. Pretty large size. I'm five foot eight and about 165 pounds right now. And this looks like it's big for me. Yeah, bigger, bigger than me, but very excellent condition. Nice jacket. All the buttons are on it and intact. There's some books here about the Green Berets and Nam Dong in Vietnam, I assume. There's an, a magazine, Soldier of Fortune, from the era, helicopter on the front. This is a camouflage jacket of some sort. It's still wrapped in plastic. I'm not sure if this label pertains to what's inside but it looks like a camouflage covering of some sort. There's a, a lanyard. This goes for the 1911 or really any, any sidearm that you have. Nice canvas lanyard. Another beret. This one of the red variety, not the green wool that we've been seeing. Well, we got some US flags now. And these feel old. So this one says Vice Admiral 4. Sometimes that 4 could be a date stamp. I'm going to have to do some research and looking into that. Let's see if there's anything else on the hoist here. You still have the cord intact, the hanging cord, or the rope. The hoist is a little yellowed. It looks aged. Another indicator that maybe this one is World War II. And you have a three-star large, I don't know if this is called a Canton, Canton flag. Um, I'm going to have to do some research because I don't know what this is. But you guys on YouTube usually do. You usually help my dad out, so maybe you'll help me out. I'd love to see the comments. If you guys know what this stuff is, feel free to share. Another flag here. Similar style, just the blue. This one only has two stars. The stars look sewn on, as you can see. This one looks a little bit thinner than the previous one. 
Also, I'm seeing some aging on the hoist, some yellowing on the hoist. And it's ink stamped here, top corner. Now that is Mare Island, the MI, Mare Island in the Pacific in 1944. We know this is definitely World War II era. This is pretty cool. Probably part of the veteran's collection or passed down to him, not sure. Here we have a packed up hammock, rare hammock. Inside here, camping out in the jungles of Vietnam. Take a look. I'm not going to open this whole thing up, but it does seem to be folded in here pretty tightly. Probably a one man hammock. Some more books in here. We'll take a look at those later. Here's another flag. Again, I'm not sure what this flag is for, the significance of it. There's an anchor on one side, three stars and red stripes. All right, here's a tag on the hoist. High grade all wool bunting. Maybe some sort of Navy flag. Again, sound off in the comments. I'd love to be taught a thing or two. I'm gonna probably do my research after the video, maybe a little backwards approach here. But hey, I, I just wanted to share this and take the opportunity while Tom was out. Another jacket, dress jacket. This one looks like it could be Navy. Now that's a different style eagle that we saw on the first jacket. And then we have some police medals and patches here from King County, a nice display. I think this vet joined the police force after his service in Vietnam. These are probably some of the badges and medals he collected. All right, next up is a bag full of medals. These are exciting. We can see some of the awards that were given. U.S. medals don't really bring a lot of money, which is disappointing because it's not a matter of them not being valuable. It's very valuable to this country, the service that these men brought. It's a small flag from Vietnam, I think. Another patch from the Airborne, a lighter. This looks like a lighter, uh, some trench art, we'll call it, from the Airborne. Pretty cool, you need a new flint, and flint for this, I think, to get it going. And I'm too weak to push it. It's the arthritis kicking in at a young age. Some more medals here, I'm just gonna go quick. It looks like they have glue on the back. There's a bronze star. I think this is some sort of Air Force medal and this is a Vietnam service medal. Pretty cool. I'm gonna rely on you guys in the comments to list off, we'll test your knowledge, not mine, because I'll just embarrass myself. So we go through, everyone knows that. Iconic purple heart. These additional pieces of bronze, the, the, the term is escaping me, but this, these are other merits for the same medal. Here's another bronze star. I, that's a valor or maybe it's victory. Who knows? You guys do who are watching. Some defense, national defense medals. Yeah, very decorated. This one, you have a lot of stars on it. Probably for multiple instances of the same award. This is just a pin not a medal for a company or division. Got some more here. Not sure what this one is with the green ribbons. I'm not sure what either of those are. And then here's a, a, a hook tie for the airborne, maybe for the parachute it looks like. Pretty cool, it's got the airborne pin in it. And there you have it, so those are the medals. And we'll look forward to seeing your comments helping me out what, what each of these are. And then we'll find a good home for them. 
All right, and then we'll wrap this up with Naval Air Station. This is like a backing of some kind. Maybe this was hung in a barracks. There's no place to hang it, so I don't know what this would be for. Oh, there's a marking on the back here. Uh, oil colors can be washed with soap and water. Maybe it's a place map. Okay, I know what this is. I think these are called blood shits. And yes, that sounds like uh, afternoon after Chipotle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> these were used, I think it makes sense that he was in the airborne because a paratrooper would want to have this so he can have different ways of saying I'm a citizen of the United States of America. I do not speak your language. Misfortune forces me to seek your assistance and basically a message to convey to citizens of foreign nations. You hand them this and you guys can maybe get on the same page and help each other out behind enemy lines. Special Forces plaque of some kind. Got some photos here. Not sure who that is. Not sure who this is. Maybe this is our veteran, our mystery veteran. He asked that we didn't share his name or his story, so we're just sharing his items here. Then there's a few more things about the Green Beret. It's falling apart a little bit. Maybe that happened in shipping, but it looks like we could glue that back together. But that's basically it. I just wanted to run through real quick, give you guys a sense of, a, a different sense of some of the items that come in here and uh, that we love to see from all times of history. So thanks for watching and I'll look forward to seeing the comments. You guys helping me out identifying a lot of this stuff. And, and thanks as always for watching.